next guest is near and dear to Tasha's heart, as well as mine and Jessica's, is Elizabeth on? Elizabeth, so good to see you back again. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for, for ah, there you are. Back and, and yeah, it's good to see you ladies again and, and gentlemen. <laughs> Yeah, thank so you. It looks like we're going to finish off with just the ladies this afternoon. Okay. Um, All right. Well, hey. So, uh, Tasha, did you want to go into a little bit of background? Oh, wait, you're muted. So, yeah, there sure. we go. No problem. I'm actually going to read it from the thing because I don't want to miss anything. There's a lot to rejoice about this woman. So, um, so. <clears throat> Elizabeth started, uh, so Elizabeth is an RN, she's a BSN and she has an, an MBA. So that's the first thing is, so she's highly accomplished, highly educated. She founded Holistic Caring in 2016 to bridge the gap between traditional and cannabis medicine through education guide and supportive care for patients with product choices, dosages, interactions, and timing. Elizabeth is an educational provider for the California Board of Registered Nursing and professionalizes medical cannabis by equipping healthcare providers to have these conversations with patients and to approach cannabis by emphasizing holistic and functional medicine. Her background includes a decade in hospitals where she specialized in psychiatry, diabetes, and medical units. Elizabeth spent, the, spent 20 years prior to holistic caring and operations and sales and management of several health insurance carriers. Um, and then she believes that cannabis medicine offers a chance at healing, comfort, and wholeness in a more holistic, economical, economical and empowering way. Um, let's see. And lastly, she is on the boards of LA Normal and of the American Cannabis Nurses Association, which is ACNA. And without further ado, Elizabeth Mack. Thank you, ladies. Yeah, it's it's good to be here. I'm going to share my screen uh, and and walk you through a little bit about. Um, let's see, did I freeze? Hold on a second. Okay, can you see my screen? Yep, we can see it fine. Okay, perfect. Yay. All right. So we're, yeah. So thank you ag again for the invitation. And, um, you know, we're, we're basically, I, am I clean up here at uh, the end of the day? Almost. We have a, a little bit All of right. well, chat you know, at the end, but yes. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been a, a lovely afternoon to watch all of these wonderful presenters and, and sharing some of the latest and greatest about these products. Um, and so, you know, my product is always, it's kind of hard to say, but it's a conversation. It's, it's a process, you know, and um, one of the, the, the things that I really bring to this industry is the ability to weave together the medical door. Um, you know, in, in cannabis, it, we, we've talked about this today. It's, it, it's not just CBD, it's not just cannabis, but it's all of it. Uh, and it needs to be personalized. It needs to be, um, you know, not one size fits all. And, and for me, it really needs to have two tracks. And when I say two tracks, we can have uh, recreation and fun. And then there's, there's medicine. And then, of course, there's a lot in between and, and people that are fusing this. Uh, but what I try and talk to people about is how to build in the medical door because uh, there are so many people that don't understand how this works as medicine or that it even does work as medicine. Uh, they think it's kind of hyperbole that we're talking about it uh, as uh, a solution to so many different things until they start to understand the endocannabinoid system and, and why this really is uh, such a sacred plant. So what I've put together over the period of years, it started out in, gosh, 2016 when I hung out my own shingle uh, to see patients. And then 2017, I needed to bring on new nurses. And I wrote a training manual for nurses, which became my book. And the book became Courses. Uh, and, you know, so what I have put together here is how to get patients providers, products, and professionalization to this industry uh, to really fashion it as medicine for all of the people 
uh, that can benefit, which is all of us. There's 7 billion of us with an ECS, an endocannabinoid system. So uh, when we talk about patients, you know, what do they need? Uh, they need patient-centered programs. They need uh, not just, here's a bottle of CBD, good luck with it. Uh, they need to know exactly what to do with that and how it might work for them and giving them personalized guidance and support. Uh, providers, they need to know how to be included rather than just sidestepped uh, because, you know, with cannabis being a Schedule One since, well, 1970, but, you know, really having prohibition as part of our national conversation for 100 years, um, you know, providers have felt excluded. And what we want to do is include them uh, in this, uh, the, the, the vanguard of this plant uh, as medicine. And so uh, they need a curriculum to teach them how this works. And you can't just say, here's a product, here's the dosing. You got to give them all of the backstory about why this works as medicine, how it works as medicine, and that sort of thing. And a lot of that goes to the teaching about these products and how they uh, they interlace CBD and focus THC ratios. And so when we talk about uh, uh, one to one, four to one, 20 to one, what does that mean to them, uh, to the patients and the providers? And how do they understand uh, where to start? Um, and then, you know, the professionalization that needs to happen in this industry uh, and, and really trying to to build in the, this seed to sale process and, and bringing people through um, not just uh, the guidance, not just the plant, but uh, putting them together. Um, so uh, that's what I've tried to create. Um, and so my products are these certification courses. Um, and so I have a couple of different tracks. I have uh, the Cannabis Health Coach certification, which is really for healthcare professionals, uh, most of the time I talk about holistic health practitioners. So uh, naturopaths, chiropractor, acupuncture, uh, massage therapists, holistic health practitioners, because they're not writing this, uh, the uh, prescriptions right now, right? Um, and so mainstream medical doctors are a little leery about this. They don't, they don't have this training, but of course they need to, to take this course as well. So, uh, and I'm going to show you a, a clip of the course in a minute, but, uh, and then there's a toolkit that, uh, that they're going to be able to have as well that has all of the uh, forms that they could possibly need uh, and all the guidelines um, that uh, they're going to need on a daily basis to walk people through how this works as medicine. And so then I have uh, the certification uh, with and without the toolkit. Uh, some people just want the standalone course, which is uh, really kind of cool. Uh, we can cut the price and, and, and not make it all inclusive. Uh, and then I have a smaller version uh, for educators, which is uh, for the lay public, for caregivers, for people that are saying, how do I use cannabis as medicine myself or for my family or for my, uh, my friends or somebody's sick and I need to help them and maybe I can, I can uh, talk about this with them and, and learn the basics for myself and others. And then there's also people that want to get into this industry and uh, looking for their footing and what they need to know uh, to learn the basics of cannabis medicine so that they can find their place in this industry. Uh, so that's my educator version. Um, and so uh, that is also less the pharmacology, right? So not everybody wants to learn all of the science uh, from a healthcare practitioner standpoint. Uh, they just want to learn, you know, what they need to do uh, for themselves. Uh, and so, uh, and, and also it's a much smaller course, right? right? So in, in the, the big course, I have all of these modules built out with uh, all of the uh, types of uh, understanding. And, and the way that I like to write, by the way, is here's the condition. So let's just take cancer, right? Uh, what do we do with cancer in traditional medicine? How do you treat it? You're going to do surgery. You're going to do radiation. You're going to do chemotherapy. You're going to do a, a combination of those. And sometimes they're in stages. What are the side effects of that? Uh, how does that um, really uh, apply with what we're talking about here in cannabis? And when you're going to use cannabis as medicine for cancer, what do you need to factor in? Tell me about CBD. Tell me about THC. What about these ratios? Do I take them together? Do I take them separate? Do I use the acidic versions or do I need the active versions? And generally the answers are all of the above, uh, but you need to really uh, look at what we're doing. Is this controlling symptoms or is this something that uh, we're going to try with higher levels of dosing uh, and more of a curative level? Uh, and, and how do you support the patient through that? How do they get these medicines? How do you case manage them? 
so, you know, teaching them all of the tools on finding uh, medicines, sourcing medicines, knowing what to look for on quality, uh, knowing basic ranges of dosing and that sort of thing. So anyway, that's how I like to teach. And all of my courses are set up that way uh, in each module. So uh, neurology, uh, so neurodegenerative and, and um, uh, neurological like epilepsy and autism. Um, and neurodegenerative, I'm talking about uh, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, MS, ALS, all of the conditions where our nervous system breaks down causing disease. Um, and then, of course, cancer um, and then chronic pain. Okay, how do I take it for arthritis? How do I take it for uh, severe injuries that I've had and multiple surgeries and years on opiates? And how do I get off those opiates. So these courses address all of that. And then uh, circling back to the educator and the coaching uh, for healthcare professionals, they all include a guide on functional medicine. Uh, as Andrew alluded to, and, and uh, the naturopath doctor and, and some of the other folks today, uh, this is complementary to better living, to holistic living. How do we get people to uh, understand how to move their bodies uh, and to use cannabinoids to do so, because that's what really keeps us well. Uh, how do we get people to use an anti-inflammatory diet? What is that? How do we get uh, people to understand the importance of whole foods and how to take responsibility for what they're putting into their bodies? It, I can't tell you how many people are detached from cause and effect, uh, you know, from uh, what they're taking uh, for medicine, what they're eating, uh, and then they, they complain about not feeling well, you know, so we teach them that. We teach them how to interlace functional lifestyle medicine together with cannabinoid medicine and um, the traditional medicine and how to make it all work together. So, uh, and then what I'm going to be launching next year uh, is mini modules for patients. So go, breaking down into one of those categories, like, like cancer, and again, saying, you know, how does this work together with traditional medicine uh, and how do I get um, uh, the best outcome here? Um, and then, so, you know, the products we talk about, the, um, the courses, and I'm going to show you my network in a second and, and just sort of browse through the course. Uh, but I also have a book uh, that is kind of the, uh, the underpinning for the course. And everything started with this book. I have this book right here. It's one of my favorites to, to look at sometimes. Like, I still can't believe I wrote it. Uh, but it's a, it, was a, it would be a great thing for Christmas. Not necessarily a stocking stuffer, but it would be fun. Uh, and then the clinician's kit, and I'm going to go through that in, in the toolkit in a moment. Uh, and then uh, Holistic Caring uh, is launching a CBD marketplace because this is all about the product. So how do patients know what good medicine is? How do they know what to trust? How do they know uh, what the certificates of analysis really mean? Of course, we're going to have nurses that are going to go through this with them uh, that are part of Holistic Caring or uh, we can just uh, have the coaches have access to uh, the vetted CBD marketplace so that they can then carry this in their practice. As we're training providers, uh, then we need to equip them with uh, the clinician's kit with all the forms, but also the medicine that they can take to their patients. Uh, and then we're creating a marketing directory. So uh, coming very soon, uh, next uh, month, we're going to be launching our affiliate program in earnest. Uh, at Holistic Caring and all of the coaches that we've been training uh, and then all the ones going forward once they feel competent and ready to, to really hang out their own shingle as a cannabis health coach, uh, then we're going to market them in our online directory. Uh, and then there's a forum and a, and a, a market where a network where uh, the coaches can communicate with each other. And then we have a monthly mastermind group where I bring on uh, other producers that are making medicines and talking about the value differential they bring uh, to this practice, what makes their medicine special, how they uh, expect it to work, uh, and any case studies, or maybe even talking about doing some clinical studies. So our mastermind groups are going to be very, very vibrant uh, coming up. We've already done uh, two or three. We've done two. We've got an, a third one coming up, uh, which is going to be the cannabis nurse approved, talking about what that vetting process looks like, as well as uh, symptom targeted relief with cannabinoids. Um, and so uh, then the affiliate program. So anybody that goes through our programs uh, and wants to engage with us and help us promote them uh, to audiences that they have, 
uh, we're uh, creating an affiliate program where you can market these courses that we've created uh, to your network and earn commissions on there. And then next year, uh, we're going to be launching uh, consulting that uh, is going to go out and train healthcare professionals. Maybe they don't want to take the course. They want somebody to come to their medical group and, and do a deep dive for a day. Uh, we can do that. Uh, and cannabis companies and dispensaries, uh, we can do staff training uh, and then formulations uh, and, and getting people to understand uh, what might need to be that next innovation as well as clinical study. Uh, so uh, with that, let me stop sharing this actual screen and then go to um, my network and we'll take some questions. So hold on a second. Okay, so are you guys still seeing this one? I think so. Yeah, we are. Okay, cool. Yes. All right, so this is the course platform. So these are the three courses, the Holistic Caring uh, Certification and Licensing Program, which is what we're going to go through. And then this is uh, without our toolkit, and then this is the smaller version for the educators among us. So uh, with this, well, let's go into the course material, and we're just going to take a look at uh, this. Um, there's an introduction where we go into the beginnings of uh, what this program is all about and the learning objectives with a full-on glossary uh, and then going into the history. So uh, what is, uh, how did cannabis get uh, scheduled into schedule one? What does schedule one even mean? And were humans using it before? Of course, we know all those answers, but a lot of the lay public that uh, hasn't uh, had any interface within this industry, they don't know that it was uh, been, you know, used for, for human health and medical conditions for the last 5,000 years. Uh, they don't know about the research. They need to learn about Raphael Meshulam and all of the study in Israel that uh, discovered uh, CBD and THC and how they work in the body and, and what that pathway was to find these receptors and find the physiological reactions. Uh, and, and why cannabis works as medicine, and then talking about the different cannabinoids. So we have plant medicine uh, from the phytocannabinoids. We have the synthetic uh, cannabinoids that are FDA approved, like Marinol and Epidiolex, and then the, and then the endocannabinoids that our own body makes. Uh, we weren't hardwired just for this plant. Uh, we are hardwired for the plant, but we're, we're really uh, made to, to act with our own endocannabinoids to, to maintain balance and homeostasis. Uh, and, you know, what does that look like? And so we have to go through all of that. And then the terpenes and, you know, as, as several have alluded to, it's not just the cannabinoids, but the terpenes. And then, you know, how do, how do they, those go through testing? What are the processes for that certificate of analysis? What needs to be in there and why is it important? Uh, and then extraction is also featured in there. Uh, the pharmacology, and this deep dives in this version uh, on really how that receptor uh, uh, interface uh, is, is happening with the endocannabinoids as well as the phytocannabinoids and going into the uh, receptors and the ligands and agonism and antagonism and that sort of thing. Uh, and then all the product types. So uh, once you break down the pharmacology, then you need to talk about each uh, mode that we could use. What is the pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics of inhalation, oral ingestion, sublingual oral mucosa, uh, dosing of these uh, medicines, topical, transdermal, suppositories, etc. Uh, then what are the basics and uh, of dosing, what are the advanced protocols of dosing? And, you know, what are the differences? And then what is the medicalized approach? And to that, I allude to the, applying the medical process, assessment, planning, implementation, evaluation, tracking. How do we know that this is really working? And then the fine print, all of the myths and stigmas and dependency and withdrawal and all of that. And then, you know, we go into the modules, right? So that's module one. Module two talks about all of these different conditions that I alluded to. So, you know, cannabis is, uh, it, it treats a myriad of conditions and uh, very effectively once you understand the ECS, which is why that goes first. And then, you know, what are the, the scope and standards? Like, when, how do you really implement this into your practice? What do you need to know? Obviously, we need to know the costs and the benefits, right? This this is not covered by insurance right now. Uh, that's something we're going to, you know, really try and gun for uh, in the coming years. 
uh, once the more acts passes next year, then we can start to be talking about uh, cannabis being used uh, in place of pharmaceuticals and maybe somehow CBD will be covered uh, as well as, you know, the, the studies that are happening on uh, work comp uh, insurance where some of these uh, patients are able to get the cost of the, the cannabinoids covered uh, through some of the injuries uh, that they've had with their work or personal injuries. Um, patient consideration. So what are the legalities for patients? What do they need to know? Uh, workplace testing and uh, traveling with it and, and that sort of thing. Medication or supplement. This addresses, you know, is it FDA approved pharmaceuticals or is it a botanical herb or a, or a dietary supplement? Uh, and then shopping and all of the different parameters that they should be looking for when they're either buying hemp online or going to a medical cannabis dispensary. And then provider considerations. You know, what kind of levels of care can this be used in? Um, you know, from traditional uh, healthcare settings to long-term care settings and that sort of thing. Scope and standards of care for, for providers. How should we really interface with this and what is allowed by our boards uh, of nursing and medicine and that sort of thing? Advocacy, opportunities, business aspects, coaching, the regulatory environment, how to apply for licensure, you know, what the different levels of that is from cultivation to uh, lab testing to manufacturing to public health to labeling to all of these things that we've put together uh, and then all of the resources that they're going to need. Uh, a nice exam at the end, um, and then the toolkit, uh, which breaks out you know, just quickly uh, all of the things that a healthcare provider of any stripe uh, is going to need to really build this into their practice. So, literally, how to stage an appointment for a 90 minute visit from every 10 minutes, all broken down disclosures, liability waivers, uh, short and long form assessments, patient teaching. Uh, going literally from, from you know, like what you would teach in that 90-minute visit, all mapped out for you. Dosing guides, talking about the different routes and how they work, and then the tracking log. So you don't have to build this from scratch. You can use this log that I've been using for years, uh, you know, 1 to 10, where are we at on levels of pain, anxiety, uh, memory, focus, mood, uh, energy levels, sleep, blood pressure, blood sugar, etc. All those things that are affected by cannabinoids. Uh, and then plenty of resources, a formulary that I bro uh, broke down uh, where I, I literally have uh, written the dosing guidelines of every product in a California dispensary uh, and how they work and what the titration schedule is for that. Uh, and then a care plan that you can customize with your recommendations and, and personal information uh, for that patient, uh, and then just leave in the, um, uh, the protocols that I've put in there for functional medicine, uh, and then the primer, which is the ebook, uh, so that uh, you can download this book, you can carry it around and, and uh, print it, or put it on your iPad and, and use that for patient teaching as well, uh, and, and a quick start guide to how to start a business. So. A lot of these people that are uh, looking at this, uh, I have many nurses that have been nurses for like 30 years uh, and, you know, 55, 60 years old, they're, they're wanting a second act, but they don't want to be in a hospital anymore. And so how do I start a business? How do I uh, create something uh, from scratch? And we, we walk them through literally how to start a business, as well as providing them a community one-on-one talk that they can go out and present in their neighborhood, uh, along with the uh, script and uh, a complimentary gift that they can give with a two-page guide to their uh, audience. Um, just literally, again, you can just put in your information and then a marketing flyer so you could take uh, the name of Holistic Caring uh, and, and me out and just put yours in and, and put that up on your community center uh, and post that and be ready to go. So those are, uh, that's the, uh, the, the basis of uh, these courses. Um, you know, I invite you guys to go to holisticcaring.com uh, and you can see uh, from Holistic Caring how to uh, look into uh, these courses and, um, and how to purchase them and that sort of thing. So it's, uh, it's a, been a, a wonderful uh, experience to talk to you guys about uh, what I've been working on. Uh, and what's next. Uh, so please join us in uh, helping to bridge the gap between traditional and cannabis medicine uh, and work with patients 
uh, please also sign with, up with the, the newsletter and keep in touch with us. So with that, I think that I just finished my 30 minutes pretty quickly and um, ready for a few questions if you have any. Let's see, I don't think we have, we don't have any in the chat. Let me, I have a few questions for you. Okay. All right, here we go. in. Yeah. All right, here we go. So how have these certifications helped healthcare professionals? How have they helped them? Mm -hmm. So uh, first of all, they're able to say that they have been trained by another healthcare professional that has been doing this for years and years and years, so, so six years now. Um, and so there, there's a little bit of credibility. They didn't just read a flyer and think that CBD is a good idea. You know, these kinds of things are out there everywhere. And, you know, it, a lot of people think that, you know, you can just uh, start working with a product, but you really need to have the background. So uh, when a healthcare professional has gone through a curriculum like this, they really are able to feel that, um, that knowledge and that competency uh, of going through the course so that when they start to have these conversations, uh, they're going to have something to grab for and from uh, that they have read and hopefully uh, retained so that when they're meeting with patients, they're like, uh huh, I know how this works and knowing the way that it works, you know. So uh, when I talk with a cancer patient, being able to explain the endocannabinoid system and why this works. Uh, not just for symptom control, but also for symptom control and and for, you know, a, a way that this might actually be truly healing to their body. That healthcare professional is going to have uh, the grounds from which to be able to have better conversations where they really can walk somebody through this uh, from, from A to Z. Yeah. And I think that also touches on, you know, how does this help community? Because again, Whenever you have people that go through a program that is valid, it brings validity to the person. And then you have these educated professionals that are out in the community that are then able to disseminate correct and true information, really educate the public. You know, the family members then in turn educate their family members or the patient and educates their family members, their family members become supportive. And so it's really this ripple effect throughout the entire community that's starting with, again, that education piece and how it disseminates through. Um, well, yeah, can I add on community? So yeah. here's the other thing that I want to talk about with, with people in the industry. Like, say you want to expand to Oklahoma and open a new dispensary, right? It's, it's a medical-only state. Uh, but what we can bring from holistic caring to you guys is the ability to train your staff with the educator version of these courses, the ability to train your local healthcare professionals with the healthcare version of these courses, and the patient modules that will be out next year where somebody can just take that off of a shelf and say, you know, I, I have a serious disease. I'm going to, to do this myself, listen to a lecture, get the workbook that goes along with that and be a savvy consumer. So basically what we're going to help this uh, industry do is create the ecosystem of educated uh, from the, the staff and the bud tenders to the healthcare professionals that will then be sending patients in to the dispensary uh, and, and saying, this is what I'd like them to get. This is how I'd like them to dose that. So essentially, we're creating that medical door. No matter where somebody buys these, these courses, uh, we're going to bridge the gap between traditional and cannabis medicine very nicely for each part of the population. So from the community level, uh, this is good. Plus, think about the providers that learn this and, and the marketing differential they're going to be able to have with their patients. And in the community, those that really want to take this on and learn it are going to not just be a regular doctor anymore. They're going to be a doctor that also is a cannabinoid specialist. And as the interest and, and the uh, uh, adoption of this continues to grow, you're going to need those providers to, to step up and get trained and then a volunteer to be a leader in their community working with people, which then, uh, you know, helps the dispensary to not only have more sales, but also enhance credibility that this really truly is working as medicine because we've got the healthcare professionals engaged and trained and working with the patients. So solving all these problems uh, from the get-go. Yeah, and... 
And I think that that's one of the biggest things that I appreciate about your vision is that you, it, it truly is an ecosystem. Everyone has to work together in order to make this work. It has, you have to have that support. You have to have the knowledge, the education, um, you have to make those connections. And I think that that is really a critical piece whenever we're talking about how to move this ball forward, especially now with, you know, four states legalizing and one state um, allowing for medical use. Right. Um, we're, we're up to 36. It's, only gonna, it's, it's like, yeah. you know, we're on a roller coaster. It's downhill from here, right? Right. So 36 uh, legal medical states and 15 legal recreation or adult use states that really broadens. I mean, uh, now they're saying 90 percent of Americans have access to this. And so if you do it right, if you if you build in the education and, and all the stakeholders of this ecosystem at the at one time, uh, as you're introducing these products, then we can do this right and, and not have uh, people saying, you know, it's just an excuse to be high because we've been hearing that for years. Right. right. But if, if you start a dispensary and you, you bring the education together with that and get everybody in your community involved and trained, now we, we have just another branch of medicine that's going to work for all people, from pediatrics to geriatrics and everything in between. I agree. And I also feel that whatever stigma is left, um, you know, it'll, it'll eventually have to go away with education. So I'm extremely impressed with the coursework that you've put together. It is extensive. And one of these days, when I have the time, I'd like to take your course. Sure. I'm certified. <laughs> Officially certified. <laughs> yeah, we, we can absolutely make that happen. Thank you. So doesn't look like we have any further questions. All right. So again, holistic caring.com is how you reach Elizabeth and her team. If you have any questions, um, thank you so much. We really appreciate you coming out today. You're and welcome. Thank you for the opportunity and God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, our looks like we're kind of like at the end of uh, coming to the end of our Canna World Expo um, for 2020. Oh my gosh, what a year it has been! Um, we do have um, we're going to have a, a final open uh, with any remaining speakers. Do we want to? I think we kind of. Close that one off already, right here, Denise. Am I good on that one? Or am I? I can't see who is remaining, but um, yeah, I think we're pretty good for we're, today. We're pretty good. Well, on that note, let me go ahead and give the final farewell for 2020 and Canada World Expo. Well, actually, we're going to be on live next Saturday. It's going to be the international broadcast oh, yeah. all day. That's true. That's true. Well, I meant, yes, yes. Right. <laughs> so what we have going on, we have one more. Um, it is on Saturday, November the 14th, again, 9 a.m. to 2-ish, something like that. Um, we are going to have our... Uh, GCNC um, event partner and um, we're going to have uh, Jillian Reddish uh, who's also the co-founder of GCNC it's going to be pretty darn exciting because we have an amazing lineup I don't actually have the lineup of all the speakers yet in front of me um, we can post it to social we will definitely be able exactly we'll be able to post all of that um, but we are partnering with this group. We had, um, uh, oh my goodness, um, we had everybody on earlier when we were talking about it. And we're bringing in also a whole new group with everything for this last um, day of the year that we'll be doing this before heading into 21. And we 
really, 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 um, we've got Chris Day, um, who's actually going to be um, a part of that. And he was on a little bit earlier. He will be bringing his round of guests, as well as we will have um, the usual Canada World Expo group um, probably on and joining us to chime in. Let's see how many times they can use the word suppository next weekend. <laughs> Since we didn't have the usual. However, I must say, um, ladies, the ladies killed it. Um, the last two presenters happened to use the word suppository, so you got it twice for today. Um, that was awesome. We didn't quite get to have the usual laugh that we do. Um, but, yeah, I'm sure that we'll be able to bring something like that up for hopefully um, maybe next uh, <laughs> next Saturday. It might be in multiple languages, but yeah, <laughs> it just somehow comes up in conversation on Cattle World. Who would have thought, right? <laughs> I mean, it started off. Um, this, it started off with the word suppository, and it looks like it's going to be ending with suppositories. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. Denise, is there anything else that you would like to include or end for today? Yes. I would like to thank Tasha Jackson for her time and her effort with moderating. I'd like to thank all of our speakers and all of our media partners as well. Um, it's just been a pleasure. And you can find her with um, Naturally Inspired. She's online, she's got a video series, and I really appreciate everybody for participating. I, I know that you have lots of things you could do on your Saturday, and contributing to world education, um, it just means a lot at this point in the industry when um, we could do nothing or we could all band together as one unified voice to grow this industry. And we're all very powerful together as, as one voice. And you've seen a lot of people from North America today. You'll be seeing a lot of the international contingency next Saturday. So thank you all so, so much for joining us and for contributing. The videos will, fingers crossed, be um, at least edited so we could get them up online. It takes quite a while for us to publish through YouTube um, if we don't get censored. <laughs> I think we'll be okay on this round. I think we're pretty safe on the content on, on this round. Um, but we also have our channel on Brighton. So uh, any of the videos are available through canworldexpo.com and we'll be messaging out through social media. Thank you all so much for tuning in and for contributing and we'll be seeing you next Saturday. Thank you so much. Thank you. See everybody next week. Bye for now. Bye.